as many deceived Pentecostal are, if not more, than of any other denomination. And, and, and it, it's not about uh, when, when you're talking, when you've had some good ice cream and you know that it's good and you know that your brother or sister likes ice cream and you found the best of the best, you want to tell them about it. You want to tell them about it. It's like Debbie's sour cream banana pudding. You know what I'm talking about, congregation. Most of the people right here in the county know about it. But when you've had it, you, regular banana pudding ain't the same anymore. And I know that some of you may think I'm crazy as sour cream banana pudding, but let me tell you something. Once you've had it, you don't want regular banana pudding. And that's, that's the way it is with Jesus. Once you have a taste, once you've had a mouthful, once you've had a bite of, of the goodness of the Lord, you want to share it with everyone. And I've got a lot of Baptist friends, Presbyterian friends, Methodist friends, friends uh, Pentecostal friends. I've got friends, uh, I, well, they're my friends. I, I, I may not be their friend, but they're mine. But I've got friends everywhere, and I just want to share with them the goodness. There, there's more. You know, they're still eating regular banana pudding. And I found something good, and I'm wanting to share it with them. And that's all I do is, is I want to share the goodness. You know, the Bible in Romans 3.23, I'm talking to the one sitting directly in front of the television right now. You may be just as happy and as blessed as any person on earth. And, and then again, you may be lost. I, I don't know, but I'm, I, this message has got to go out. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All. And Jesus tells us in the word that there's none righteous. No, not one. Paul writes it down. There's none of us righteous. There is no righteousness except that of Christ Jesus. And in Romans 6, 23, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And that's eternal separation from God. It's not the death that, that, that we think of just dying in, in the natural Eternal separation from God is the wages of sin, which means your soul goes to hell and you're never reunited or united with your loved ones as far as your Christian family. And that's why God has blessed us to have this telecast so that we can warn the lost because people are getting saved everywhere uh, through our telecast. And, and, and if, I just want the people that are watching today to understand that the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, 8. Now, we know that, that all of us have sinned, and we know that the wages is hell. And except you repent, you're, you're going to hell. And hell is real. It's literal. And, and I don't care how good-looking you are, how pretty you are, how rich you are, how poor you are, how intelligent you are, you're still going to hell except you be born again. There's no other way around it. Well, I went to church all my life, preacher. My mom and daddy was saved. Well, that's all right. You're still going to hell except you be born again, except you have that experience with Christ. And the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, For by grace are ye saved, through faith in Jesus Christ. And that not of yourselves, it's nothing that you've done that you can do. It's nothing that you can do. It's the gift of God. And it says, not of works, Lest any man should boast, if I could work my way into heaven, I'd be bragging about what I've done. And God hates braggers. He hates proud people. So what I'm trying to say is it's the gift of God to each one of you. But you cannot live in sin and expect to go to heaven. You cannot live in sin and, and expect God not to bring his wrath down upon you. And I'm just encouraging every one of you in Romans 10, 9, and 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. These are scriptures that Christ tells us we have to have heart knowledge. And in John fourteen six, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You can't get to heaven any other way except through Jesus Christ. In John six forty four, he says, And no man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. You have to be drawn by the Holy Spirit. 
So when the preacher tells you, uh, when he quotes uh, Romans ten thirteen, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, it's not 100% truth. You have to be drawn by the Holy Spirit. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. I'm going to ask you right now, those joining by television, if you've got sin in your life, I want you to say this prayer, and I'm going to have the choir sing us out throughout, sing us to the end of the program. But if you have sin in your life, I want you to repeat this prayer with me if God's dealing with your heart. Would you bow your head, please? Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. I ask you, Father, to forgive my sins. Place them under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. And, Lord, I'm asking you right now, come into my heart. I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. And I ask you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's book of life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that prayer, dial the number on the screen. We're, we're there to help you. We're there to pray with you. We'll send you some free literature that will help you stand. Pray for this ministry always and support us whenever you can. And, and just listen to the choir now as they take us to the end of the program. Crossroads Choir singing for God's glory. closet religion and I can't hide the God I serve I got to let the world know wherever I Consequences of the lion's dead. I should hear old Daniel say. Everybody! 